What up, group group? Welcome back to Alliance War Season 21, War Number 4, where we go up against BRJP. Anyways, against the Mercenarios. And basically, we thought we were going to be facing against Apaco based on the plus minus war rating. And this was a pleasant surprise. Now, they were one below us in the leaderboard, so we know that these guys are good. And they are pushing for Masters also. But so are we. And we made some simple mistakes in the beginning, and so did they. So it's just it was just even the whole fight until the end. But this is the quickest war I've had. Um, I was unable to take Path 9 because there's a Nova there. I was thinking about sharing Path 9 and taking that Dorm, but just have one person take it easy. And then I'm probably going to be in Path 7 because whenever there's a Domino in Path 7, my officer in my battle group decides that I need to take that Domino because that's where Ghost is best. Anyways, quick war where we just have a few fights. Um, and I don't think this is a... Difficult war, it's another war where I do boost up because I'm boosting up every single war because we have to do good. No matter if you're confident or not, you have to boost up for these wars when you're master. Because if you get hit for something that happens and you die, like think of how bad you feel and just how especially if you're recording it for all of YouTube to see. But yeah, I'm boosting up for this fight against Elsa Bloodstone. I am really good evading her special one, so I have no issue at all just blocking and getting her to special one or just anything. She is not stubborn, so this is not a hard fight at all all so yeah 100,000 health can be down pretty quickly boosting up a little bit for this one fight in section one like i said just one fight in section one her dash back always gets me how she does a spin her dash back but i'm trying to get that special two i'll get to it soon anyways i'm really good at evading a special one because my alt account is in map three and she's a mini in map three so i have a lot of practice there gonna get my phase back here and just get to my special two as quick as i can Special 2, throwing it. I got sources on, doing a lot of damage. She's done in 12 hits. Easy peasy. Now, there was the an Emma Frost um, in Section 2 on Encroaching Stun. But my buddy, um, Thien, destroyed that fight, man. Destroyed it. He went Path 9, um, but he used a Rank 3 Sabertooth in that fight. And my oh my, that was a... I wish he recorded it so I could see it, but he just killed it. And if that note was up by the time I was like back from my gymnastics training, I would have taken that and all these noted. Anyways, spite power from her far domino, no matter what, she's going to a special three easily. There's no doubt that she's going to hit a special three at all. I don't play the best here, but I just need to make sure that I don't get unlucky when she hits a special three that I can phase through it. Because almost every time that I, I, I face her here, she goes to special 3. And I can take a hit already out of nowhere, too. And then I missed this perfect dash back medium. Like, somehow I went light. Full combo to the face. I'm like, really? Why am I playing like crap right now? So I'm just going to parry her and just block and whatever. I'm just going to take it easy. She's going to go to special 3 in a second. You'll see. I'll get my special 2 here. And when you're fighting against Domino with Ghost, you cannot guarantee you a phase ever. And I got my phase. I'm like, yes, got my phase. But... And it was when fighting Domino against Ghost, you can't guarantee your phase, so you won't guarantee him blockable specials. So you have to make sure you throw your special into her medium or into her heavy. It's the best way to throw your, your special in case. Anyways, I parry her. One hit. She's down. I'm at 74%. Whatever. There's a blade on the, on, uh, the next node, which is Aspect of Evolution, I think. But I hate when this happens. The, the disconnect. Like, please don't disconnect me. I just did a fight, and I don't want my one death of the season to be a disconnect. I'd be so mad. But in a few seconds, it clears up. Fight goes through. Full attack bonus. Let's go. All right. So Blade is a stubborn defender. If he goes to special three, which I always say, he has a 50% chance that he will stun you. But this is kinetic transference, which is not an issue at all with Ghost. Like, I'm just going to phase to get the special two. Throw a special two, and he's going to be done just like that. Not an issue at all. only issue is, like, I'm wasting those two Furies, basically. Um, I took a parry there just because the two Furies from Suicides that I phased off, I wanted to make sure that I can get some damage there. Um, I'm going to parry here, do a combo, throw a special two, and he goes all the way from 76 to zero from that special two, and it was awesome. This war was a quick war. It's three fights, and that's the least amount of fights I've had in like the last like 200 seasons, I swear. Yes, I'm over-exaggerating, but to like only be doing three fights in a war, I am useless, man. But yeah, we ended up winning that war. Um, it was a close war. It was 10 to 15, I believe, where like we had 15, we had 10 deaths and 15, and we were trying our best to get under 10. We're so close to get under 10, you guys. So close, and we got this. So our next objective is to be under 10 war, under 10, because if you want to be top three, yes, I said top three in war. 
in this whole season. We have to get under 10 for at least a few of these wars. And we've had some simple mistakes we could have avoided so easily. But after this war, as you see right here, it says Master Rank 1. That means Master Rank 4 because 1, 2, 3 has its own placement. We're Master Rank 4. We can easily get to 3 if we just keep playing like this. We are a strong alliance and we got this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming to my Alliance War video. I'll see you guys next time. This is Coop, signing off. Happy gaming. Thank you.